If you want to add in more information while you print like headers and footers, then you can go to the page layout option right here at the bottom. So if I were to click this, you can see that this actually takes me to a print mode right here. So this comes up like a piece where you can add in header and footer over here if you want to. So you can also set like width and height settings right here. So if you were to rotate the document into portrait, you can see that the data gets divided and you actually get to see the pages it'll be printed on. So you can see that this is like a Microsoft Word document right here. So I'm going to stick on to landscape because that is how I presented it. And this actually uh, relates with the print, uh, with the, uh, with the uh, print setup. So right now, for example, I have uh, my data spread across two pages right here. And if I were to press Control F2 right here and then adjust it, now it is set to normal margins. And now I'm going to say fit all columns into one page just like this. You see that everything is in one page. If I were to go back, it has been converted into a one page sheet just like this, as you can see. So it actually shows you what is going to be printed right now. Um, uh, out here. So on the header section, if you were to click it, you see a new uh, tab called the design tab. So here you can add in the page number, header, footer, updates and so forth. So you can also set a different first page if you wish. So this is the first page header as you can see and even you can have different odd and even pages over here. So I'm going to say this is tutor tube document. All right, just like that. So this is my tutor tube document. As you can see, I can bold it out, maybe color it out, just like that. So you get a mini toolbar right here. You can increase the font size and so forth and arrange it out according to what you like. So over here on the header section, maybe I want the page number. So this is going to be page. This is page number one, as you can see, and this is page number two right here. And over here, maybe I want the date. So I'm going to go into the design tab and I'm going to say current date right here. So that's the date as you can see and over here the date as well. Let's say I want this to say page itself. So and page that is the formula. So I'm just going to say page and space. So it says page one just like that. And this is page two over here. So this is page one and page two accordingly. So if I were to print this out, then you'll see this type of a design. Now you can also add in a footer and in the footer uh, I'm going to say uh, end of um, end of uh, page and let's say I want to add in the page right here so I'm going to add in page end of page just like this and that's end of page one and end of page two just like this so now I'm going to uh, go to the preview control F2 and there you go that's the preview this is the page one this is due to tube document and then this is page two, as you can see right there. So that is how you can set up page one and page two um, uh, inside of Microsoft Excel. You can actually set up the page layout quite easily to see uh, the print layout directly inside of Excel. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.